In October 2017, a group of approximately 250 physicians, cancer survivors and their families, and viewers around the world participated in a unique medical conference to collaborate on the issues impacting patients and survivors of retinoblastoma, the most common eye cancer amongst children. This video shows just some of the highlights and reactions from the conference attendees. Hi, I'm Jess Berry. I'm the scientific program chair for the One Retinoblastoma World 2017 here in Washington, D.C. And when I'm not here, I am the, uh, an assistant professor of ophthalmology and the associate director of ocular oncology at USC and CHLA in Los Angeles. Hi, I'm Steve Haddad, ocularist from Los Angeles, California. And I'm a pediatric ophthalmologist. But I'm a, a genetic counselor now. I was diagnosed with retinoblastoma at two months old. I'm an ophthalmologist in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I came from Ghana, West Africa, just for this conference. This is my first time of attending the One Retinoblastoma World Conference. And um, I must say that my life has changed in a way because I met a 65-year-old, a survivor. Back home, we don't see that. And I'm really encouraged. This meeting is special and that it brings survivors and parents into the discussion so that we can really come together as a family to create a better way forward for children with retinoblastoma. I was really impressed that they had a group together trying to solve real world problems for real patients because that's what all of us are here for. Um, it's been a great privilege to try and present something that doesn't talk just about the science, but that actually says, so why does that make a difference? We've got wonderful participation here. It's really great to hear the family comments and to see the child life specialists and the children because they're just getting on with it too. I think a lot of people have a difficult time, myself included, have a difficult time um, sort of finding and grounds to speak on it. So this is my first time speaking on it and a lot of people that I've spoken to have the same experience here. But I'm glad to be here and I'm glad to be being educated because it's nice to see a place where medical professionals and just common people, the patients, can work person to person. It's an amazing conference. I've learned so much uh, from the pediatric oncologist, uh, the oculoplastic surgeons, uh, researchers, and um, genetic specialist. Uh, a great meeting and I'm so grateful to be a part of it. I'm so happy about this conference and I just hope that it keeps going and I keep being able to be a part of it because we just keep getting better when we all work together. This meeting has made me a, a better physician and a better doctor. It has made me think of things in a new way and I will bring a, a new skill set back to my patients in Los Angeles. I can't wait to see what we do and I can't wait to see you guys in two years. Thank you. Without the kind generosity of our sponsors, this unique event would not have been possible. We would like to continue to help patients, survivors, and their physicians collaborate effectively in order to overcome the challenges they face from this disease. If you would like to help, please go to our website at www.wecehope.org.